Hi, I'm Brian Vance, BoardBikeTrackHere.com, and today I'm going to show you how to take off the stock OEM bodywork on your all-new Kawasaki Ninja 400. Okay, if you're going to do any service on your bike, right, over the long haul, you're going to need to know how to take off all these OEM plastics and get them back on the bike successfully without breaking anything. So I'm going to show you how to do that now on our 2018 Ninja 400 STG project bike. The tools that I'm going to use, I've got a 5 mil T-handle, I've got a 4 mil T-handle. I bought these at Home Depot, man. I've got a little flat bladed screwdriver. I've got an 8 on a Motion Pro Spinner T-handle and a flashlight. Yes, it is that easy. Okay, starting right at the top, the seat. This is actually kind of cool. You gotta start by removing the rear passenger pylon. Use your key back here. So I guess I lied, you actually need the key too. Remove the rear pylon. Once you've removed that here inside the tail, you see there's a loop attached to a cable. That is the release for the rider seat. Pull back, boom, there's a latch right here. You can see where it engages. There's two tangs right here that slide underneath the fuel tank brace. Make sure those are dipped in and this is firmly engaged once you've removed and reinstalled this so you don't find your seat laying on the side of the road. Next up, these trim panels right next to the fuel tank. Pay attention to which fastener came out of each hole. Right? It's not even a bad idea after you remove the panel, if you're really unsure of it, Go ahead and just put the fastener through the hole in the panel so you keep track. You've got one here at the rear and then one up here at the front. You'll note some of these have plastic washers like that. It's a good rule of thumb. If you see a plastic washer like that, it's typically going to be somewhere where you can see it. They use the washer so you don't scratch the bodywork. Once you've removed both of those fasteners, I want you to grab the panel back here towards the rear and pull out lightly. There's a Christmas tree clip that is holding it in place. Continue to the front, come over here, and there's one right there. Pull that out, pull rearward, and rotate up. You can see one, two, three, four, and there's a tab right here that slides into that groove. As you would expect, we've got a mirror image here on the other side. The side fairings are the most important to know how to remove and reinstall. That's something that for simple maintenance, installing an exhaust, stuff like that, you're going to have to do that, okay? The front fairing is one that you realistically you don't take off very often. That's something if you're doing race body work, maybe you've had a crash, stuff like that, where you'll have to pull that one. But the most common are certainly going to be these trim pieces here, and of course the side panels. Okay, now we're going to remove the lower fairing. I'm going to start up at the very front here where the two halves of the lower meet. There is a clip here that you need to release using a flat bladed screwdriver. It starts life like this. Slide the blade in there, pull out, pull the thing out. You'll reuse this, it slides back in, you push back down, it locks into position. Once you've removed that, we have a couple of fasteners. We've got one with a five mil head here that mounts to the frame. Pay attention to that spacer, that's important. Now we have two, four. The lower fairing is in halves. Once you have your fasteners out, kind of tip it and roll it like this. You can see these two tabs go in the grooves. And then you have the th three fasteners plus the clip at the front. You have to remove this so you can gain access to this fastener right here. Over to the other side. See the spacer.
four millimeter head. Roll it up and release the tabs. Okay, next up, I'm gonna remove the trim panel that goes underneath the nose and attaches to both of the side fairings. We've got little clips that are holding this in all the way around. I'm gonna show you right now how these work. They start like this. Press in the center to release it. From there, you're able to pull it right out. When you go to reinstall, push it back like this, slide it into position, and then push down. Every one of these is reusable. There's a handful of these. They're really easy to spot. Steve's gonna do his best to show you where they're at as I go through and remove them. But like I said, once you're in here and you have the opportunity to look at it yourself, you'll see that they're really easy. And we do have two Allen head fasteners at the very top of the four mil head that we need to pull out too. Okay, once you have those all out, go ahead and work on these two Allens here. Four mil head. You don't always have to remove this panel all the way. For example, if you're gonna do something like the exhaust, you could just leave this hang here in the center. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go ahead and completely remove this panel. It also clips into the side fairings. So you'll have to get in there and kind of release that before it'll come out all the way. Not very difficult to do. And these are the clips that I'm talking about. They just interact with the sides of the fairing. Really easy to remove and reinstall. Okay, now let's do the right side fairing. Eight mil hex. We have two of those. Got a four mil fastener down here, hex head. And that's where we had to remove that lower fairing to gain access to this. That's why you couldn't leave those panels attached to one another. And then you come back here, you give a light tug, there's a Christmas tree clip there and there. Now you can see this is really starting to come loose on the side. We have a four mil hex up here. Go ahead and break that loose, take it out. Now at the very front, up here in the nose area, right here there's another one it's got a four mil head like so now you'll see it is really loose okay we have a clip right here same style that we saw in the trim panel underneath the nose fairing. Go ahead and release that. And now it is definitely ready to come off. You need to kind of tilt it down and out like so. Here is your turn signal. Got to get in there and get a hold of that release while holding the fairing, like so. Then you can slide this right back in place. And there is the right side removal. You 
get an idea when looking at the back side where those clips are at, okay, and how they interact with the rubber grommets on the motorcycle. Okay, over to the other side. Pretty simple stuff here, just a mirror image. Got your two 8mm hex head fasteners. here. Remember you can leave this one right here. You're gonna have a push pin up there that we'll take out later. Got one four mil up here at the top. Like so. Very front of the bike. Same as on the other side. Pull that one out. You can see that's a shorter fastener with no washer. Now we have our little clip. Release that. Okay, a little different on this side. We've got a couple of relay centers here that are attached to the side of the fairing. I need to get in here and release these. Basically, you just need to get in here with a flat, that little screwdriver, and just kind of pry in the center just a, a wee little bit and then pull up, and that'll release it from the bracket. We're gonna pull out on the back of the fairing, release the Christmas tree clips. Same thing as on the other side now. Kind of roll it out. Now here is our turn signal. Push in back there to release that. Best practice is not to pull on the wiring harness too hard. So there you have it. This made a lot of sense. The rest of the stuff is really pretty simple. And we're gonna show you this in some of the other videos to remove the tail, right? You've just got a couple of fasteners here. It's all gonna pop right out. The upper fairing, once you remove the trim, will be very easy. You'll see this when we do our race bodywork video but for most of the stuff that we're gonna do on this bike, if you're able to remove successfully and reinstall your side fairings, the seat and the trim panels on the side of the fuel tank, and of course, then the fuel tank, you're gonna be able to do almost anything you need to to your Ninja 400. Okay, the reinstallation of all the fairings, it's just simply a reverse of what I've just shown you. I answer all the comments in the YouTube videos, especially for the project bike builds. If you're doing a project and you're having any trouble with a fairing removal or reinstallation, feel free to post a comment. I'll answer it for you. We'll get you dialed in and make sure you get your project done right.